This beautiful spot is the headwaters of the Watauga River that begins in the mountains of North Carolina and ends in the Gulf of Mexico. One of our environmental heroes has made it her mission to protect this river and keep its waters clean and healthy for future generations. Some people might consider 44-year-old Donna Lisenby a guardian angel, not of a person, but of a river in the mountains of western North Carolina. Wild things in nature, like a river, they can't speak for themselves. Our job is to be the voice of the river and remind humans how important it is to protect them for future generations. River keepers are watchdogs for streams and rivers, protecting them from pollution. Today, Lisenby works for the nonprofit Appalachian Voices as the first Watauga River Keeper in Boone, North Carolina. There's still so much of God's creation here left to preserve and protect. Uh, it's being threatened by development, um, and I believe I can make a difference in partnership with the community here and always make certain this remains a beautiful, irreplaceable mountain trout stream. Lisenby's love for water began early. Born in upstate New York near Lake Champlain, she spent her childhood in, on, and near lakes and rivers. Her mother, Candace Bouchard, says her daughter was a water baby. She was born under the Aquarius sign. And I, I believe in those things. And it certainly is true in her case. And her, her love of the water has been a main theme throughout her life. Lisenby's environmental activism started when she was 22. After graduating with a degree in agricultural science from Clemson University in 1987, she spent the next 11 years converting a failing hog farm in South Carolina into a profitable organic farm and a bed and breakfast. In 1998, this water baby turned environmental activist returned to the water as river keeper for the Catawba, Charlotte's main water source. During nine years as Catawba River Keeper, she trained an army of volunteers to monitor the river's water quality. Director of Catawba River Keepers Association, Rick Gaskins, worked with Lisenby for more than a decade. She's probably the most passionate person I've ever seen about protecting the river. At the Catawba, Lisenby lobbied with government and corporate officials to cut down on pollution. She succeeded in getting a major retailer to stop storing pesticides close to the river. In 2008, she sought a fresh challenge, moving to the mountain town of Boone, North Carolina to serve as the Watauga River Keeper. Part of the charm of the mountain watershed and what drew me here was the people. It just amazed me how connected they were to the mountains and to the trout streams and to the rivers and how serious and dedicated they were to protecting it. Lisenby now lives near the Watauga that begins along the slopes of Grandfather Mountain in western North Carolina's Appalachian chain before heading west toward Tennessee. There it becomes the Tennessee River, which feeds into the Ohio River and then into the Mississippi River, ultimately draining into the Gulf of Mexico. Near the Watauga's headwaters, Lisenby monitors eroding soil washed into the river. Here she measures turbidity, or muddy water, which leads to a drop in the river's oxygen levels. One point two five nephilometric units is the turbidity level today in the Watauga River which is uh, very good. Hasn't rained in several days, although it snowed on Tuesday. So we'd expect a low level, uh, and that's really important for the trout. One source of muddy water is eroding soil from development. So one of the big problems in the mountains is we don't have a steep slope law that prevents development on steep slopes. So once the trees are cleared and the development begins, as soon as it rains, it just washes down the steep slope hits a flat spot like this, and it's supposed to be collected in some kind of sediment erosion control basin. Lisenby says development in Watauga County has more than doubled in the last decade. 
runoff from timber logging just a couple hundred feet above the river harms water quality below. Logging often precedes development. To do her job, Lizenby depends on the eyes and ears of nearby residents, like Patricia Edmiston, who contacted Lizenby about a threat to a creek feeding the Watauga. A local power company, Mountain Electric, had sprayed herbicides on her property to make way for power lines. They uh, cut the tree and then they inject the poison, they spray the poison in. And you can see um, where the path is brown, where it used to be very green. You can see the distinct change in color. Until the problem is resolved, Lizenby will keep pressuring Mountain Electric. In response to our questions, the company issued this statement. Due to an ongoing investigation by the North Carolina Department of Agriculture, it wouldn't be appropriate for Mountain Electric Cooperative to discuss this matter at this time. We understand that a resolution is being worked out between Superior Forestry Service Incorporated and the North Carolina Department of Agriculture that should be concluded within a short time frame. Besides monitoring local problems, Lizenby also meets with other environmental activists to plan statewide actions, like at this meeting in Raleigh. Former riverkeeper and retired Marine Rick Dove says Lizenby is the riverkeeper's riverkeeper. But I guarantee you, if she's, when she's the river keeper on a river and you do anything to that river which will, will degrade that river, you've got, a, you've got a junkyard dog on your heels and you've got a problem the likes of which you've never seen in your lifetime. I mean, if I were a polluter, the last person I'd want to see as a river keeper on my river is Don Lizenby. A voice for the river, Lizenby works every day to enlist others to join her cause in keeping the Watauga pristine.